I'm going to be taking apart my SV-225. Basically, what I'm going to find in here is a 3.2 kilo ohm resistor. Uh, it's for checking low Z measurements, voltages. And uh, I'm just going to pry into it because it stopped working after about a year and say about three or four months. This uh, you can buy for pretty much about 80 bucks, maybe a little less uh, on you know eBay. You can hear it just one day, a few days ago, just I found it was there was something rattling around in there, and I was like, okay, this can't be working. And then I tested it; it was not. So I'm gonna find something that's not right in here. Okay, so that's what it looks like there. Not much. I didn't anticipate there would be much. Uh, I'm gonna try to take this apart where it's gonna be usable again, though. Okay, the resistor is good, but this guy right here, this came out and I got my soldering iron prepped. So this is just a, uh, a thermal limiter, a PTC, uh, but it's busted. No, no, it's not busted. Looks the same. It's not busted. It just See, it just came loose. It looks like it was maybe wiggling over time. It just came out. It looks like they chinsed out a bit on the soldering. They would have soldered the top as well as the bottom, then I wouldn't have had that issue. As you can see, it's just a resistor in there and two PTCs. So, here, you know, instead of spending 80 bucks, if you're adventurous, you can go ahead and make one yourself for cheaper. A lot cheaper, especially if it's not a field application unit. The reason I like this one is it's pretty sturdy. I carry it in my tool bag, use it pretty much on a daily basis. I use it with my field piece uh, meter because uh, the field piece has the amp clamp. I really like that. I don't want to carry two meters in my bag. And it says, interestingly enough, it says don't throw it away. I'm trying to figure out what in the world could be so important that they don't want you to throw this thing away. But anyways, then so let's stick a little glue on there just so it won't come out. Went ahead and. Uh, Use this gorilla epoxy. It's really sturdy stuff. I don't think I'll need a lot of it. Just a bit here. A bit here. There's not a big gap, so it's gonna gonna kind of seep into the corners. Test it out. Ah, two point eight kilo ohms. Okay, that's less than I thought it was. So, pretty much it. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment on the video.